Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use lock command and how to use lock command with guide curves. So watch the complete video. Let's start. So first of all, let me tell you what is lock. As we have used previous commands like so sweep, revolve and extrude, we are just using a one profile or one sketch and extrude or sweep the sketch to make our geometry or our 3d model but in loft we can attach two different shapes or two different sketch so let's see how we can do it we are making two sketches parallel to each other like front plane and we will make one more plane parallel to this front plane with the five centimeter distance so now we have two plane, front plane and plane one. First of all, we will draw the sketch on front plane. We are going to draw simple sketch of a polygon. You can make any shape like oval or circle you want to make. Now we are going to make the sketch on this plane one. So select plane one, go to sketch and we are going to make a rectangle here like this go to exit sketch now we have to attach these two shapes or profiles so now you can see that when we have made two shapes our locket command is on it says that add material between two or more profiles to create a solid feature so now we will create a solid feature between these sketches go to loft select this sketch you can see that this is our profile one and now we are going to select this scale so this is our profile two so you can see that our solid feature has been generated but it uh, it is little bit wrong so we will adjust it by dragging this green point like this now you can see that it is making the shape we want so this these green points are our start and end constraint so our profile one was this polygon so this green point is our starting constraint and this is our ending constraint so from here you can see the start constraint and end constraint if you will select normal to profile you can see that our profile is moving normal to this profile too. You can adjust it by dragging this arrow like this. So this is our start constraint and if we will on end constraint normal to profile we can adjust this end constraint too. Like your, our arrow is on we can drag it like this. So we can make any complex shape of our type. Here in the loft property manager there is a command of guide curves. We will make new sketch to understand this command. And from here you can on the different options like closed loft, micro tolerance. This is thin feature command. From here you can simply if you know that wall thickness you can select this in feature and give the value select ok so now you can see our complex model is easily ready so you can make any complex part of your choice with the complex surfacing with loft command now we will see what we can make with guide curves and what will be the function of guide curves in loft command so for that we are going to make our guides for that we will select top plane go to sketch now what we will do is we are going to make a subline which is going to be intersected with this profile and with this profile so make a line like this So you can see that it is coincident with 
this sketch and this sketch if they are not uh, coincident just select this point and this line and make them spheres so you can see that it is easily adjusted on this line same like here it is already adjusted on the line so what we will do is we will exit the sketch and make another guideline on the same plane go to select top plane and again make the line like this and again check if it is intersecting the geometry or not so it is intersecting the intersecting the geometry with the two profiles now we will go to exit sketch so our sketch is ready now we are going to use loft guide curves and loft command to make the solid feature select this block command select first sketch and then second sketch now what we are going to do is select this guide curve box and select this spline and we are going to select this second guide so you can see our profile is guided toward these lines so this was the feature of guide curves using different planes in the solid works press ok now you can easily make the features now we are going to do loft cut command for that we will make a new part so we can understand it easily we are going to make a simple rectangle to extrude now we have to remove material from in between the rectangle or this box we will select this surface and make some geometry like this and we are going to make another profile or profile 2 on the second face like this now what we will do is same life like loft boss base command we are going to select lofted cut command we will select this sketch and this sketch and you can see that our feature is ready select ok and now you can see that how easily we have cutted the material in between the cube so this was our tutorial on lofted boss base our next video will be on the exercise of lofted boss base and then we will learn some other features like fillet, linear patterns, rib, graph. And then we will move to assembly. Keep watching and keep speaking.